I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we are over at Hoover Dam, and we want to show you around this incredible marvel that's nearing its 100th year anniversary, and it's still hard to believe they were able to create something like that. It's amazing. Now, we're gonna start off today at an overlook, and this is the first overlook that you come to as you're going towards Hoover Dam. And from here, you can just start to see what all is gonna be taking place in front of you. That gives you a little bit better idea of how much of the, the lake area you're seeing there. From there, we go on into the Hoover Dam complex. And there is a good bit of security around it, as well there should be. They, uh, they do have you go through metal detectors before you go into the dam and things like that. But we made one more stop along the way. This was my first time here, but Kathy, you had been here before. I had. And since then, they have made a big addition to the Hoover Dam area. It did seem like a lot had changed. They have built a new major bridge that not all traffic goes across the dam. This actually opened in 2010 and it's quite a bridge and quite a view of the dam from up there. That's right. That's kind of a timeline of how everything went with the bridge and uh, did open up then in the fall of 2010. The road you see there on the left is the road that actually goes down and goes across the dam. Those rock structures, huh? There are a lot of wind warnings on that bridge, so if you're going to be making that crossing, do check if you're in a high-profile vehicle, like a fifth wheel or a motorhome, that uh, it's safe to go across it at that time. Now, this is back on that loop road that we just showed you going down towards the dam. Those power poles are supposed to be leaning like that. It still <laughs> reminds me of a scene from Earthquake. Yeah. But uh, it's really amazing. That reminds me of a Beatles album. <laughs> <laughs> but it really is amazing how the technology that they had that far back and they were able to complete a project like this that is just as amazing today. With yeah, the, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. We're actually driving across the top of the, the dam here from the Nevada side over to the Arizona side. And you'll see the dam is made in a curve and it's actually the pressure of the water behind the dam holding the dam against the sides that keeps it in place. It's just pressure against those banks. And uh, when we took the tour, they're very proud that the Nevada side is the one who spurred this whole project. And they said basically the Arizona side was just to hold the one half of the dam in place. <laughs> so now there you'll see the big intake tubes there's two on the Nevada side, two on the Arizona side. The water levels are still a little bit low, but they're a lot higher than what they had been. So the, the uh, water height is coming back. There's a lot of parking up here on this uh, Arizona side, so you can park and look back at everything. And the Arizona side parking was all free parking too. Uh, except for one small area when you first cross. Yeah. You can tell how far down the water is. Yeah. You can really see it there. Now, this is coming out of the parking garage on the Nevada side. And there is a gift shop there. There is a... Uh, ice cream stand, a snack bar. There again, those crazy electrical 
Towers. Towers, yes. This is up at the end of the parking garage building. And this was in memory of all of the people working on the dam who lost their life in the project. And ironically, the first person who lost their life in this was the father of the last person who lost their life in the construction. It was a father and son. So we got our dam tour tickets, <laughs> as they like to call it. You do have a, a movie presentation that starts with then you come out to a, a glassed-in observation area where you get a real nice picture there of the fly crawling up the glass. I was gonna say that that's some big bug. <laughs> and there's another one. <laughs> but the uh, this was to me the coolest part was going through the structure itself. Yeah. And I think there's been some upgrades since I was there 35 years ago as well. Yeah. There are four diversion tunnels. This is one of them. They're 50 feet in diameter. They made these holes 56 feet in diameter, and then they're filled with three feet of concrete all the way around. So it has a 50 foot tube and uh, quite, quite a structure. That actually diverted the river around the construction site when they were building this. The diversion was completed back in 1932 and the, uh, the dam started uh, uh, holding water in 1935. If I remember right, I believe they said it was done ahead of schedule. Mm -hmm. When you're going through the, the tours, they have uh, a couple of different tours. One that will bring you this far into it, which is the electrical generators. And then we took an additional tour that left from here and went on through the dam itself. Those are the electrical generators. I believe there's a total of 17 of them between the Nevada and Arizona sides. and. Uh, Everybody thinks that the electricity all goes to Las Vegas because of it being so close. But when the dam was actually created back in the 1930s, Las Vegas was a little small desert town and it gets 2% of the electricity. The bulk of the electricity goes to Los Angeles. This is, I guess, a real famous hallway that was all done in like an Art Deco style. Yeah. They actually had an architect design mm -hmm. this. There are uh, elevators in there. Thank goodness you don't have to do steps for everything. That's right. This is a ventilation tunnel. And if you'll notice, it's not only round but there's no flat floor in the bottom so it's a little bit weird walking and even more so when people start coming back towards you yeah and and you've got to kind of step to the side but the sides on a curve yeah oh that was creepy i hated walking across that grade that great yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at the very end of the ventilation tunnel you can see out outside that's right there's the bridge ahead of us. We don't do selfies often, but we don't get inside the Hoover Dam very often That's either. That's right. And there's that grid. And it's a long tunnel. I don't remember now how long it was. It runs on my mind, it was 150 feet. I do think we were in those. Yes. We were the last ones. Yeah, we were, we were the last ones. If you'll notice, this was all done by using wood for forms. And as it went to the curve, the little wooden slats got smaller. But you can see the wood grain in the uh, concrete 
as well as the seepage marks. Those white marks is actually where water seeps through. They don't call it leaking, it's seeping, like it's supposed to be that way. There are stairs. From where we were walking, those are the stairs going down. And right behind that are the stairs going up. That's why I said thank goodness for elevators. That's right. And it does have seismograph equipment in there too. So you don't dare kick the box. That's right. It'd freak them out. So from that, that part of the tour, they bring you up the elevator, which is right there on our right, and it puts you up on the top of the dam at a place to get some beautiful views. Out into the distance, down towards the bottom, it really lets you see how massive this structure is. Those are the top of the intake towers. I don't think I'd want to sled down that. Oh, it could be fun. <laughs> now, Monument Plaza is being uh, reimagined. Those are the original statues and they'll remain there. But that whole area is all being done. There's new escalators being to take you down to the uh, entrance for the tours. So there's a lot of new things that are going on there. There was a dog that was present at the dam and it actually was, was killed in an accident and that's a memorial to it. So Kathy, what did you think about our tour of Hoover Dam? It was very cool. It was very cool. It's beautiful. This is something I've never done before. You had done it once years, years ago. Years ago, yeah. So with that, we hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, leave us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Ring the notification bell. That way you'll know when every one of our new videos come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.